Cool green suit, can I be part of your space team? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Captain Marvel movie Cree Century Build-A-Figure Waves Talos. Should I get your Marvel Legends so you can do so? Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Kind of like this gold bar thing that they have right there for the text, pretty neat. On the side, you can see a nice image of Talos, and then on the back, you can see another image of him, kind of like the same image, just, you know, zoomed out. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. There's the other figures from the wave. Then get Talos again right over there and the Captain Marvel logo spot varnished on the top. Nothing at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Talos out of the packaging and a cool looking figure so far. I'm just a little confused about how to pose him because I haven't seen the Captain Marvel movie yet. So I kind of want to get him into dynamic poses, which is kind of tricky to do. We'll go over the articulation in a little bit. But this figure does not come with any accessories aside from the build a figure piece. So let's just get a closer look at that head sculpt. And really quick, I need to announce that the New York City meet and greet at Forbidden Planet will actually be on Saturday, February 16th at 7 p.m. instead of Friday the 15th. Sorry about that, it's due to a flight delay. And I hope to still see you guys there. So I honestly don't know a whole lot about Talos, but from what I read up online in the comic books, he's known as Talos the Untamed, the Skrull Cyborg, born with the ability to not shapeshift. So he doesn't have the shapeshifting ability, but he makes up for it in his super strength and durability. And from the movie, I haven't found too many images, but I think that they did a good job of representing the character in figure form over here. So I can't wait for the movie, by the way. I'm very excited for it, and I think this head sculpt looks really good. I'm very pleased with that. I really like the line work in here. I'm not seeing any cybernetic components or anything like that on his face or on his head. Unless I'm missing something, but yeah, in the comics he definitely has like a, you know, like a cyborg kind of look going on with half of his face. I do think they did a great job with the paint apps on this. I really like how the beady eyes look right over there. That looks awesome. And then the purple dots and all that stuff right over here on the very top of his head looks fantastic. I'm very pleased with that. That looks very cool. You know what may be the cybernetic part with him is these lines sculpted throughout the top. That may be it, you know, maybe some kind of transplants or something like that going on right there. But really, I think it looks great, you know, once I see the movie, we'll get to the bottom of the whole thing with Talos. And looking at the rest of the figure, I think it looks pretty good, man, you know? But it looks like from what I've seen in the movie, so I can't really complain too much about it. Nice silver paint apps right over there. We got all these lines. He has these long salad fingers right there. You know, makes sense for a scroll. He's got the open finger glow. Nice green tone for that. There is a difference between the two arms too, so the design for the right arm is a bit different from the left. You can see we get the silver right over there, and then on this side you get the silver up there, and you don't have that guard. And then you get this flap right over here, which you can open up, and you can see the torso underneath and everything. I think this is from the movie Loki figure that we just seen recently, I think from Thor Ragnarok. You can see the legs right over here and he only has one purple stripe and then there's looking at the boots and he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet and then here's looking at the back of the figure and then yeah his cloak goes all the way down past his knee or right at his knees anyway really not looking too bad with all these intricate lines sculpted throughout so I think that's kind of neat I like that now to go over the articulation on this Talos figure you can move the head up that far and you can move his head down very far as well it will shift forward and back too so you can get the chin over the collar right over there so that helps you get side to side movement and a good amount of head pivoting uh, both shoulders can move out all the way it gets a little stiff but you can make it work and move them down rotate 360 bicep swivel double jointed elbows bend all the way in both sides have wrist rotation and they can both hinge up and down uh, you do have an ab crunch in there but I want to demonstrate the articulation without taking this apart so it won't really move forward at the ab crunch or anything without detaching these pegs but you can use the waist swivel right here just fine without removing anything and as far as getting the legs moving outward they'll move outward just that far uh, the right leg is a lot more hindered than the left of course and you can see See this leg's getting loose and it'll slip right back into place. So that's a little frustrating, but uh, he'll kick forward very far with both legs and back 
bit. Uh, you get an upper thigh cut on both sides, double jointed knees, then the ankles move down, they do move up, and he does have ankle pivots. So you get a tab right down here and a tab up here underneath the armpit. And you can see that we can get the ab crunch moving forward quite a bit. So if he's in dynamic poses and stuff like that in the movie, and you can see how far back that'll go, just like the Loki figure. I mean, that will be kind of cool. It's just that you kind of have to figure out a way to hide all this mess right over here because that's going to look a little bit weird. I don't know. And I've tried getting the arms to move down closer to the torso than that, and that's as far as I can shift those shoulder joints downward. But to measure out Talos, you can see he's standing at about six and a half inches tall. And then here's the movie Talos figure next to some comic scroll figures. We have the Diamond Select Toys Marvel Select scroll right over there. That was from a three pack. Then we have the Toy Biz Fantastic Four Classics Super Scroll right there. I still need to get the variants. I don't have either of the variants of that. But one cool thing seeing this is that this whole design and pattern that we're seeing on the top of the head kind of does resemble the masks or the headgear that these guys wear. And they obviously picked the right color palette for his attire for this movie version too. So that's pretty sweet. Could you imagine if we see a super scroll in this Captain Marvel movie? I'm gonna lose it. And then here's Talos next to the Marvel Legends Loki from Thor Ragnarok. And you can see where they have similar parts like the legs and the torso, but the arms and the heads are obviously different. And then here's Talos next to all the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have Captain Marvel, Young Nick Fury, Grey Gargoyle, Yon Rog, Bomber Jacket, Captain Marvel, and Genesville. And we have the Kree Sentry build a figure going up tomorrow. And then here's Talos next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Ooh, you have green skin. Ooh, can I be part of your space team? <laughs> So I had to get this guy into a dynamic pose and play around. I don't know if we'll see Talos jump around like this or anything at all in the movie, but I hope so, you know, especially because in the comics, he's supposed to have super strength and super durability, and I don't know, we'll, we'll see when the movie comes out. But I like how the figure looks. Uh, as far as the articulation goes, I don't like how it's limited in the torso with that coat on there, but who knows if he actually jumps around or moves around a lot in the movie. I can't really tell yet, but I kind of like the figure, but I'm not that excited about it. I'm giving it a rating of it's not too bad and I'd like to know what you guys think so please leave a comment down below as well as hit that like button if you like the video and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you haven't already and just another reminder that tonight in New York City 7 p.m. at Forbidden Planet I will be hosting a meet and greet so if you're in the city I hope to see you there if you're not in the city well I hope to meet you at the next event and if you want to follow me on the social media check me out on Instagram Twitter Twitch and Stardust links to everything in the description below I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.